Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for day 15 of the 31 days of Halloween, I'm going to be doing my nails. Um, <clears throat> I don't really, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but I think I know now. <laughs> I'm just going to use these Kiss Oval Nails. And I think I'm going to paint them black. And I may do... Um, a design on them depending on it's 11 18 right now so just depending on like the time and how I'm feeling once I get them put on uh, so I'm just gonna open them up and I've never used these nails before so I don't know how they perform and I'm just gonna also use some um, this is just regular super glue uh, this is the kind that I use. I feel like it lasts a lot longer and I can do more with my nails whenever I use super glue uh, than if I don't. So I'm just going to dump these out on a piece of paper and measure my nails and determine what size I need. For all of them because um, I don't want them to be too big like that's a one I think I can go with a two so some of these are like gonna be here's a two I just don't want them to be too big and I'm just gonna have to round them out just a little bit more because they can't be this long for work um, so I'm just gonna File them down just a little bit after. Uh, keep their shape, but just file the length off of them just a tad bit. So I'm going to put this on pause, measure out all of my nails, and then I'll let you know what I'm going to do from there. Okay, so I have all of my sizes laid out from the thumb all the way to the pinky. And now I'm just going to lay them out in order of each hand and then I'm gonna take I've got over here all of my tools so I'm sorry uh, just a singular nail file this one in particular is just a Sally Hansen one um, you just will do that you'll take the nail you'll buff just a little portion of the edge off and then I'm gonna keep the same shape by going in the same motion but I can do this a little more swiftly you can if you wanted to make them more pointy you can do that for work purposes where I work in the hospital I'm going to keep them a little shorter and um kind of more of an ovally shape nothing pointy because if you go into getting them too pointy um you could hurt a patient or something so I'm just not going to be into that so I'm just going to keep the almond shape and just kind of file them down a little bit. Um, nothing too extravagant. But just a little so nobody gets hurt. And so I'm going to do that with all of these nails just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue them on using my super glue. And I will be right back. We may do... I'm trying to figure out what design I want to do. I'm so indecisive whenever it comes to nail art, like, especially around Halloween and stuff, because there's so much I want to do, just not enough time. We may try to do the blood splatter to these, because I think that would be really cool. So, we may get our red paint, and I'll show you how to do the blood splatter nail art, I think is what we're going to do. So, that'll be really fun. Okay, so now that I have all of the nails on and I've got them trimmed down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base coat on all of my nails. Now, I use a base coat no matter if I've got fake nails on or if they're my real nails because it always helps your color last a lot longer. So, I'm just using today the Sally Hansen Double Duty Base and Top Coat and I'm just going to do a thin layer on all 10 nails and then while I'm waiting to come back for when they dry um, I'm going to show you the supplies that I'm going to be using for the blood splatter nails so just a second 
Okay, so I have my base coat all on my nails. Now I'm going to show you guys all of the supplies that you'll need to do this nail look. Now, it does get messy, so you might want some either tape or you can use um, Elmer's glue, uh, the spread glue. Spread it around your fingers, that way you can just peel it off. I'm just going to go with the method of washing my hands and also getting the gunk off with cotton balls. Uh, I think that's going to be easier for me because uh, I've done this before. You're also going to need a straw that's cut in any sort of way. A towel because your surface is going to get dirty because this is, this uh, is not a clean process. I also have a paint palette that I'm going to use to put my red polish on. You can tell I use this for nail art. So... Uh, you'll need something just to put red paint polish on or nail polish, not paint polish. You'll also need a white polish. I'm just going to be using this Kiss Gel Strong Professional Polish in the white color that's in French white. And my favorite red to use because it's really, really super opaque and comes off like a nice bloody vampy red is going to be this one from Sally Hansen. It's the Insta Dry um, color in Rapid Red. 280 Rapid Red. So this one's a really, really good red. Um, very nice and opaque. And then for a top coat to top everything off with. Um, you use just any kind of top coat. I have two here to show you guys. Um, the Neltec Quicken Top Coat. This dries really, really rapidly. So does this one. It's the Sesh Vite uh, Fast Dry Top Coat. You can use this as well. This is thickening up, so I'm not going to use it because it'll smear um, too much. So, what I'm going to do now is just go through on every single nail and probably do about two coats of this, and then I'll come back on camera and let you guys know what to do next okay so now that I've got a couple of coats of white on now you can tell that like I've gotten it all over my fingers well don't worry because we're gonna clean this all up whenever it comes time but I'm just gonna let the white sit for a little bit and it's gonna get to like a tacky consistency and then we're gonna go in with our red so I'm gonna go ahead and move this paint palette here close to me and the straw here close to me and I'll show you what we're going to do with it in just a minute. Okay so I've waited just a few seconds and I'm going to take the red polish. I'm going to put it in one of these holes. Actually I think I'm just going to dollop some in the center here because we don't need too too much but I'm just going to take some off and me hold it to where you guys can see. Just dollop some in the center. Literally, you don't need a, a lot for this. Um, you can always add more, but it just looks like this. Now we're gonna have to work kind of quickly because where this is an instant dry polish, it'll dry kind of quick. So I'm gonna take my straw make sure there's nothing on the end and I'm going to kind of gather some polish on the end and I'm going to swirl it so that it kind of you guys aren't really going to be able to see but it's going to kind of like puddle up in there and then you're just going to blow it on the nail And you can use a lot. You can use just a little bit. Um, it took me a couple of tries the first time I done it to get the consistency right. Because um, you have to have a certain amount of the polish to get it to work. But you just kind of puddle it and go. So I'm just going to do that to all of the nails, and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I have my bloody mess finished. This looks like some serious blood stains. 
So it looks like I've been attacked and now I'm just going to go through and clean up all of my nails. Um, I'm setting my stuff aside. I've got my pure acetone nail polish remover and I've got some cotton rounds. So I'm just going to go through, get all this stuff off of my hands and clean up a little bit and let them air dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to go through with my top coat and seal them off. So I'll come back when they're all finished. Okay, so I just finished top coating all of them. Now I still literally have polish everywhere. So this is where washing your hands comes in because look, where it was red, it's just literally stained everything. So you want to just go through, clean everything up really, really nice and make sure you can, whenever your nails dry, that's why you use a quick dry top coat because whenever your nails dry, you don't have to worry about messing them up. So I'm going to go in here in the bathroom. I'm going to take like a wet rag and some soap and water and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to take all of this extra polish off of from around my hands. So I hope you guys liked this video of the blood splatter nail art. So in tomorrow's video, you guys won't see all the red around my fingers because it's going to be gone where I'm going to go in there and wash it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Also like this video, hit the post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Comment down below for more video ideas. And until next time, stay cool and be you. Bye!